Hello. It is Monday evening. Ben was just here, and all sorts of stuff happened. Uh, I've been working on the Technic uh, brick, which is basically sorted to modified brick for me. And one of the reasons it's sorted to modified brick is because uh, if I sent it to Technic, Technic just gets even bigger than it already is, because Technic also has Bionicle in it, and so yeah, it just it's easy enough to sort this to modified brick, and then it just is, you know, what it is what it is. Uh, I did decide that in the store, where the modified brick was going was over here. Uh, this upright was the modified 2 by brick, and then that upright there was modified 1 by brick. Uh, there's a couple of drawers that are half there, and I've got a lot of the bigger ones that are have space in them, but all the small ones had something in them for the one by modified brick, enough that over here, starting with the small one here and then going up to that one, that's also one by modified brick. And then the two by modified brick started at the top and only got to there. So there wasn't nearly as much of the two by modified brick. And that's okay. But I could see with the first batch that I had of the Technic brick that if I tried to put it here in between those two and like with some of the ones that are gonna be larger quantities down below, I was gonna run out of room. So we decided that we're going to put the modified Technic brick or the Technic brick over in the Technic brick section or the Technic section. So we started here at the bottom uh, with this small drawer and we've gotten to that one. So we're not that full, but we've got some in some of the larger drawers as well. As you can see, like half a drawer for these and half a drawer for those and even a couple of drawers with you know, full. Uh, these are, I think, 14 longs. I don't think I have enough of the 16 longs in any size for any of those. Um, but yeah, so there's just all sorts of stuff in here. Uh, got that going on. Uh, ben has been continually working on getting, well, a couple things. <laughs> He's been doing some color checks for me. Uh, he did uh, these. There's the light grays over here and then the light bluish grays here. These are pieces I did previously. Those are sorted now. Um, and then over this direction where he normally is working a lot uh, with the minifigures, he's been getting stuff ready for the swap meet. Uh, we've got all sorts of containers over here with figures in them like these. Some really cool figures in there. They got stuff priced, so that's good. Uh, more plates back over here and we've got four completed ones here. And then all these plates, some of them are pretty full. So we're going to get this stuff taken care of. And then uh, he even made this plate over here because a lot of those figures weren't fitting on normal plates for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, so we're going to use these down here. They're deeper than the other ones, but they will still fit a base plate in there. So that's a good thing. Um, and then what else has been going on? Um, there's <laughs> He uh, went through and was looking for some pieces for something he's building. He actually placed an order with me too. So we got that taken care of today while he was here. Uh, but he did some looking through the, the bin here and all these other pieces down through here and even looked through some of these totes over here looking for pieces, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much what we've got going on here. I did have two other orders uh, besides the one that Ben placed, and those are over here in those two containers right there. So they're both pretty small, relatively at least. Um, so yeah, those are ready to go out. And as you can see, I just started working on these. These are the one by six Technic bricks. And I started at one by 16, I've been going backwards. And I also did the weird ones to begin with too. Uh, so yeah, we were getting there. Uh, let me slide this out of the way. And you can see that, I mean, I've got the light bluish gray, one by sixes, and then these few ones over here. And then uh, one by fours here. There is no one by threes, and then the one by twos, and then the one by ones, and then that'll be it for the Technic brick, which will actually be the end of modified brick, which means the next one would be the only one left, way over there, modified plate. But before I get to that, I'm probably going to do the Speed Champions part out. Yeah, I got 50 of that now, and we are going to part that out. That's going to be a fun time. So that's my plan going forward. Uh, and uh, Ben will probably be back on Wednesday. So we've got more stuff coming on Wednesday that will happen in the store and probably some stuff will happen tomorrow too. But in any case, that is all I've got at the moment. I've been kind of blabbering along for almost five minutes. Uh, it, I remember in the previous vlog, I mentioned 
hey we're at 910 subscribers it's great we're getting close we're down to 908 or at least we were last time i checked it could be different by now so they it fluctuates it goes up and down and that's just the way it always is i'm sure everybody has that happen i'm sure that you know once you get to a certain point where it doesn't even tell you the exact number you don't notice it as much you know my guess is if it's just saying you have like 1.7k yeah, it's, you know, it's 1.7, is it 1,750 or 1,770? Yeah, it's about the same. So, yeah, that's how that's going at the moment. Um, trying to come up with some ideas for Brickworld still. Um, I'm probably not going to have a full ream of art by Brickworld. I may have some art by Brickworld. We will see how that goes. But as always, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next clip. Hello. It is Tuesday, and I have made it through the 1x4 and 1x6 Technic bricks. Uh, and I've just sorted down the 1x2s into the three different types. There's the, again, the, the one with the plus sign or the X in it. Single uh, pinhole and double pinhole. So there is quite a lot more of the single pinhole, and then next would be the X or the plus, and then this. So this one will have to get subdivided as well but I may do that at the stage after I've color sorted it and just list them in tandem I've done that before when there's similar variants um, just a few pieces that didn't belong I'll be checking this one and seeing if I can add that to inventory which is some of the stuff I just did and then a bunch of these one ones one by ones which are still over here in this drawer not a whole bunch of them in there but we'll add those to them and then we'll be done with the Technic brick, which will also mean we're done with the modified brick, which means I'll be moving on to the part out. Uh, so yeah, it is Tuesday. That is my update. I do have help coming tomorrow. Ben is coming tomorrow on Wednesday and one of my other sorters is coming. So they'll probably be here in some overlapping time. So that should be a good time here. But that's all I got for the time being. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, it is Wednesday evening. Uh, and I had Ben and one of the other people here today at the same time for a while. And we got a whole bunch of stuff done. Uh, got more parts added into the store. I'm now down to the 1x2 Technic bricks with the uh, single holes and the double holes. The double hold ones have all been processed and are ready to go. And then the single hold ones. And then I've got the 1x1s over here already sorted. I had Ben go through and sort the light bluish gray and the light gray. So those are done. This is my reject pile. I could get dumped into here at some point. Uh, so these are the only ones I have left in modified brick, period, end of statement, done. Uh, and so then we'll move on to that part out. Um, we've had uh, more sorting going on. And as you also notice, there's a table missing here. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, but over here, you'll see that we had some sorting going on. Uh, this tote is getting very close to being empty. Probably the next time someone is here, it will empty out. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of these tiles from uh, the Hobbit game that came out. Just all sorts of pieces. A lot of these bins look empty because they've been dumped uh, very recently into their constituent uh, bins over here. So more parts showing up in the bin. Here's the modified brick getting pretty, pretty big in there. Uh, this one is large brick, not so big in there, but this one probably should come out, and this one's in the wrong place, but that's okay. This one is, uh, yeah, that's got paint or something on it. That's probably not going to come off, so we're not going to put that in there. We're just going to dump that over here, um, but yeah, so uh, Bionicle is going to be a problem. We actually moved the tote down to the bottom. That entire bin is Bionicle. So we're going to need to do something about that soon. So I'm probably going to look at washing some of that very soon. Um, so yeah. And then uh, after this tote is done, we're going to work on at some point getting these totes back in over there. It'll clear up some room here, especially if I'm going to start washing. I'm going to need to have access to this unit to put washed pieces over there. But the next pieces that we're going to deal with are going to be over here in these uh, the clear bins over here that are in behind over there you also see down there i've got one package i had a sale earlier today uh which will be the it's the last sale of the month of may ended up with uh 23 sales for may so that was that wasn't so bad uh over here uh i moved a bunch of these things around i pulled a whole bunch of these white things out and moved them over here because I took the tables over here away, because those two tables are going to go to the air show with us this weekend in case we need a little extra space. 
Um, and I would eventually like to make this a shipping area. So this is going to entail having to clear off most of this wall. I've got, as you can see, a plastic shelving unit back here. Uh, and that probably goes to about here. And so all this would need to clear off and then all this stuff would need to go away or find other homes or something like that. So it's, it's moving slowly. We'll get there. I have a feeling that all of these units over here, all the drawers are empty uh, or they should be. Maybe Ben put something in one of them, but they should be empty. So I think a lot of those are going to go into the crouch space. Just get them out of the way, store them away. Um, and then Ben has been diligently working on figures again. He will be back Sunday night after the air show to do some more. But as you can see, we've got container here with figures ready to go in it. Uh, another one over here. You can see there's prices on some of that stuff. Back here, more stuff over there. All these plates with figures on them. Just tons and tons of figures ready to go to the air show or not the air show but the swap meet um i'm even going to have some here that i'm going to have and then we're going to add to this some of the city and and stuff like firemen and policemen and stuff like that and i'm going to basically so that any of the kids are there they can take one uh, just here have a figure uh but yeah that is uh all i've got going on down here at the moment i think it's it's it was a lot we had a lot done today and i'm happy about that but i've got to end the day now i'm tired i'm gonna go rest and there's a couple other things I might need to do running around. Uh, oh, and I will mention this. This is kind of funny. This is uh, somebody in the lug has been looking for these uh, sets in general. And I found these three in boxes in some of these drawer units that were kind of blocked and in behind other things. But three more of the Alien Conquest sets. The Tripod Invader, the Alien Defender, and this Alien Striker. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, and so I sent him a picture of those to kind of like, hey, I had to verify to make sure they're all there, but three more because uh, he was trying to get a whole bunch of these. Anyway, that is all I've got. Uh, and I am going to sign off and we will come back on Thursday with something more. I just don't know what's going to happen. Anyways, thank you very much. Hello there. We are upstairs in the living room for a big change. I'm getting ready for the air show tomorrow that we're going to be going to. I've got all the sets set up in their boxes with the instructions and the stickers on the boxes. And I'll include a picture of that later on. But I'm also going to work on putting this set together. Uh, I've had this for quite a while. Uh, it was partially assembled in the box. And so I basically have been spending some time disassembling it. I'm probably going to leave this little engine type assembly together. And then a few of these other parts I'm leaving together. But I think most of the rest of the stuff in the box is separate. And so now I'm going to go get the instructions, which are right underneath the box, and work on assembling this, because I think this would be a good addition for the show. Uh, but that is all I've got at this point. We'll come back when I'm done. Thank you. And here we are at the air show. Did not show this already, but this is the finished plane. I think it looks pretty cool. It's very finicky. It will break apart easily if carried wrong and there's many wrong ways to carry it and then somebody else brought a miniature version of the same thing which i thought was pretty cool so that is what we got and here's the box so yeah we're going to uh end that here hello so this is going to be one of the vip add-on pack videos that i've done and this is for pack 40607 the summer fun vip add-on pack which is this one right here uh it was released just today, uh, on the 4th, I'm recording this late in the evening. It's almost midnight, not quite. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to open this right now and see what's in it. And uh, we'll get this up tomorrow. Seeing as though probably the re recording will end up being done after midnight. So, anyway. So, here we go. And I've got these little trays set up. There was a little bit of glare in the tray because they're kind of like a reflective black. So, I went and I cut some cardboard to put in there, which will help. And so, yeah, it's going to keep the pieces from rolling all over the place. And the color is kind of neutral because I know I've been using the uh, yellow trays with the, the spout on them. And that kind of messes things up. All right, so we've got the small pack here. Oh, we just bumped the camera. Yep, everything's still good. Uh, so, well, we've got the little instruction book, if you will. It's just basically showing you that you can add this to existing builds. Let's see what we have here. 
So yeah, this is kind of what we have here. So they've got the color, that's what you can do. The white you have to buy yourself or have yourself otherwise. So yeah, you can add it to this blank house to get this. So that's kind of neat. So we'll set this aside and start looking at the pieces. Well, the first thing I noticed is just this trans, I believe it's a dark pink umbrella top. That's kind of cool. And then there's some of these leaf pieces. There are four of them. So that's kind of nice. And I'm kind of playing around with where the camera is now. So I'm looking around. This is a good spot for it. So there we go. Uh, there's one of these. That's kind of cool to get. Uh, let's see. We've got this net for, like, you know, catching butterflies or something, I guess. Uh, we've got some of these wedge-type pieces, these partially curved plates. Those are kind of neat. Uh, we've got some of these just round brown pieces, which my guess is the intent is you could make like a tree with them by stacking them. And then you could add these pieces over here to the top of the tree. Maybe make a palm tree that way. So there are two, four, six, there's eight of those. Uh, we've got a couple of these coral pieces. Those are pretty cool. Uh, so you could use those as underwater things. You could probably also do other things with them. I can almost see making like a, uh, a climbing wall with these because I have a feeling that all these points would be minifigure hand accessible and they could also probably stick their hands in the stud hole. So you could probably do a lot with those for that. The color isn't great for that, but you could do it. Uh, a fishing pole. That's kind of neat. Uh, a couple of these life preserver type pieces. I don't know some people have also used them for toilets. Uh, there is a surfboard and then a skateboard it looks like or maybe they're both surfboards or one's a This might be like a, a water ski Type thing and then there's actually two skis for that So again for water skiing would be my guess as opposed to snow skiing because it's supposed to be summer uh, We've got a couple of these life vest type pieces. I believe these might have come from the friend sets originally Although I'm not sure they looked hundred percent like this. So that's a little different uh, there is a parrot, kind of a multicolored parrot. We've got a bunny rabbit here and a uh, crab. Uh, there is a dark blue snake. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, we've got a Santa hat. Um, Christmas in July, perhaps. Uh, we've got uh, blue air tanks. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then we've got a couple of these blue, like they're like tops of, well, a finial perhaps, and like a railing, but they're they're technical little pieces. And there's also two of them in red, and two of them in this bright pink, and two of them in this bright light orange, and two of these metallic silver ones. So they got a whole bunch of different colors of those. That's kind of cool. Ah, we've got four of these one by three tiles with wood printed on them. That's pretty cool. Uh, a yellow antenna, of course, this is the newer version of the antenna with a flat top, not the rounded top, which is in the older sets. We've got four of these trans light blue one by two slopes. That's kind of cool. A couple of these uh, dark green one third high are the uh, plate thickness round pieces. You could probably use those along with the trees. Uh, a couple of black bars, um, just a sack or a bag, maybe to go with Santa's hat. And then this, which is just kind of like, it's got these bar connections. Uh, and then we've got the smaller pieces inside this. So we'll open this up and see what we have in here. All right. So I see right off the bat, we've got a couple of pizza box tiles. That's pretty cool. And then also there is a pizza. Actually, there's two of them. So you could have the pizza box and you could lay the tile over this and boom, you'd have the pizza that's in the box. All right, so I see there's a couple of the bright light orange ice cream cones. So that's like maybe orange sherbet or something like that, perhaps. Uh, I've got a couple of these fins for swimming around in the water for a minifigure. And uh, we've got a red crab. So it kind of goes with the <laughs> light bright orange crab. So we've got two of those. Uh, a couple of orange fish. That's kind of cool. Uh, there's a couple of these dark red baseball caps, I see. So that's kind of cool. Uh, these are for holding uh, the ice cream pieces. So you would basically just take this and 
stick it on top like that and it would make like an ice cream cone that you could uh, have in a minifigure's hand. Uh, let's see, we've got, uh, oh, some of these, they're like little swirls uh, and they're in white. So I'm kind of envisioning this to be like uh, vanilla ice cream. Looks like there's just three of them though. Uh, we've got two of these, which are uh, like, I imagine they're bottles. Uh, they're either supposed to be like this as like a bottle with a, a neck, like maybe a wine bottle, or kind of like this is more like a goblet kind of idea. So they're kind of multi-use possible there. Um, this looks like it might be like um, an ore, uh, and you'd stick one of the bars in that to make a paddle. Uh, there's a couple of these grill pieces in the metallic silver. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like we've got what four or five of these? Three? Yeah, we got five of these. Uh, the light blue, trans light blue cheese wedges. That's kind of neat. Uh, we've got some of these clips. It looks like there's four of them. These black clips. There's like you could put a bar in one end and then clip that onto something else. Very useful for connections. Uh, I see it looks like we've got four sausages. Well, that's kind of neat. Oh, and here we've got another ore thing. So you can make a two-sided ore or just two separate ores. We've got four sausages there. Or maybe a cookout or something. You could even use the uh, those uh, grill pieces for like the grill. Uh, these are um, uh, poles for like uh, snow skiing, but I'm sure you could use them for something else. Uh, and there's uh, three of them. It looks like so there's it's probably light enough that you get the extra one so it's supposed to be two and then you get the extra one uh there is a single trans blue like an underwater visor that you could clip onto probably the blue uh helmet that we saw and of course we've got the air tanks so that kind of makes sense giving them to a minute here we got a couple of like uh ice cream popsicle type things those are always neat uh and then we've got just some of these brown pieces which are one by one round plates, but there's a hole in the middle. Uh, so you can use those with a bar as well. That's getting away from me. Uh, and then we've got some red pieces, which are the one by one round plates, but there is no hole in them. Right there. So there's five of that. And then we've got these little flame pieces, which this is the interesting piece in my sorting that the flame piece like this goes in with natural stuff like plants and rocks and stuff like this if i find this in the used bulk in white or black it goes with uh, minifigure parts as a plume so yeah but the, we've got five of that again it's probably light enough that it was intended for and you get the extra one and there's a bunch of these stars that's two four six eight nine of these stars that you can stick on a stud and they've actually got a little tiny hole so you can use them with certain accessories that fit into those holes so yeah that's what is in the pack. I think it's pretty cool to have another new pack come out. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, last time I checked, we were at 913 subscribers, and that's just really awesome. Um, and uh, Brickworld is coming in like two weeks. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Any case, uh, actually a little under two weeks. But anyway, um, I'm going to cut the video now. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thank you.